everyone, today I want to share with you a tutorial on um, an idea that's not mine. It's something that is out there on the web. It's called Card in a Box. And I honestly can't remember the name of the lady that does the video tutorial for, but I will put a link to um, that video. And she shows how to make a uh, basically a card in a box using an, a standard A4 piece of cardstock. Now, I went ahead and made one of um, her uh, creations, and it is a lovely, lovely um, gift. And um, it's quite large though, so this is the finished product. I've used the um, some designer series paper and stamp sets from the upcoming celebration um, catalogue for stamping up in 2014. And I made it and I loved it and I thought it was wonderful. And then of course um, when I went to um, put it in an envelope because I was going to send it away, I realised that it doesn't fit in our um, standard... Um, Australian Standard C6 envelopes. It's too large. So I went ahead and I made a, um, a custom envelope for it using our envelope punch board, which is fantastic. But um, don't always want to have um, a custom envelope. I wanted to sort of have a card that I could just pop into one of our already pre-made envelopes because I'm a little bit lazy sometimes. So I took that original design and then all I've done is I modified it so that um, our standard um, C6 envelopes, you can get one of these beautiful cards in a box inside one of these they seal up and they post and they actually still fit through the standard postage um, system and they still cost us a standard um, postage rate which is always great so i just wanted to quickly share the tutorial uh, video tutorial for you on how i made it so this is what it looks like same principle still pops out and open like that this is one made with the backyard basics um, stamps and framelits and a bit of um, uh, designer series paper here. I'll show you how to make this one and give you the measurements for it. Um, and um, yeah, so you can make either either the link to the larger one is there, but this is this one is so easy um, to put together. Okay, so let's get started. You're going to need a piece of cardstock that measures eight and a quarter by nine inches. Now the eight and a quarter is our standard width of our A4 cardstock, so I've just cut it off to nine inches. So put this in the scoring tray. Oh, I've got my focusing issues there today. Sorry, guys. I hope it fixes itself up there. Um, and you're going to put it in the tray so that the nine inches runs along the top of your score tray. And you're going to go ahead and score at two and one eighth, four and a quarter, six and three eighths and eight and a half inches. You're just gonna give it one single turn 90 degrees like this, and you're gonna score once at two and three quarters. So going back here, just to remind you what we've done here, two and an eighth, four and a quarter, six and three eighths, eight and a half, turning once to two and three quarters. All right, so that's all the scoring that you need to do, guys. So now it's about cutting this. So you wanna, put this into your um, cutting machine so that this two and three quarter um, inch piece is on your left hand side and you actually want to cut it back to six inches long so with this on the left hand side this two and three eight three quarters on the left hand side you want to cut it to six inches so I'll just do that so once you've done that guys this is your two and three quarters here I've cut it out to six inches long you've got this little strip of um, uh, scored cardstock that you've got left here you still need this piece so with the extra piece that you've cut off you're going to need a piece that measures three and an eighth inches long so measure your three and an eighth inches with this little tiny tab section on the left hand side so measure back from there three and an eighth inches so i'll cut that off and show you what i mean okay so you end up with this little um, piece that's got two little tabs one on either side and then you're just going to turn it and put it in your cutting machine and cut it um, in half so about one and an eighth inch so you've got two pieces like that. So you basically, your box is now ready to um, make. So you've got this whole piece here and you've got these two little tabs. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to turn your cardstock so that two and three quarter inch pieces are um, up the top. So you'll see that this is a, a smaller panel than that one. So the smaller panels here, you're going to cut along all four score lines. So you've got all those four score lines cut along there, one, two, three, four. So this last one, you don't actually need this piece, so turn it to the end of these little tabs here. It can actually just create a little tab to close um, your box. So now it's folding time. So what you can do is you can fold along all of the um, upright score lines. So the tab.
and all those score lines so that it joins together like this. Now what you want to do is you want to keep um, this little tab here at the back of your box. So I would make um, this here my back panel. So that's the only panel that doesn't get folded down. So you just want to fold down these other three panels here. So open your box up. So closest to this little tab here, you just want to take these top three portions and they all need to just be folded back like that. Okay, we're leaving this end one nice and straight. So what you're going to do now is you're going to put some double-sided tape on this end tab here on the outside. Okay, so with double-sided tape on there, guys, you're just going to join your card box together. I'm trying to show you what I'm doing and be happy that it's all lined up nice and straight and square. So you're just going to join that along there and then as you see all these ones fold outwards and you've got this piece here with the inside tab in there and that's the piece I'm going to keep straight. Okay, so basically um, there's only one more um, part to this that's the actual mechanics and then the rest of it is decoration so we'll do that mechanics first. So these two pieces that we've cut earlier, you're going to just fold them into a zigzag pattern. So one tab forward, one tab back on both pieces. Now you can use Tombow glue if you want. Um, I tried using Tombow glue but I am so messy with it um, that I found that if I at least use double sided tape and if I'm just really careful with how I position it, I can do it nice and neatly and I don't get Tombow everywhere. Um, but certainly to position these, you can measure and be very accurate or you can um, use Tombow glue so that you can move the tabs to the exact right position. I just found um, double sided tape works for me and um, it just makes it easier to do. So I just like to, because um, I don't like to have too big a tabs, I just like to trim them back to the size of my tape, but you, you don't have to, you can keep them long, you can add extra tape. And then I just like to, with all the tabs I ever make, always like to give those corners a bit of an angle, Just I just feel it makes them a bit neater. Okay, so now you've got your tabs done like this, guys, you're just gonna take the backing tape off there and that, and I'll bring the box in here and hopefully you can see what I'm doing. I'm basically just going to um, zigzag these into here. Now you basically want to cut your box in sort of about thirds, so you want sort of two internal panels. Um, it may be hard to see as I'm doing it, but I'm, I hope you'll be able to get the gist of what I'm doing here. So basically, you just want your panels... Um, evenly spaced across your box and relatively straight. So I'm just going to put that in there like that so I'm relatively happy with that. Once you decorate it you really don't see them anyway so um, don't be too particular about it. Okay I'm just going to put the second one in. This is the only problem with double sided tape guys, once it sticks, it sticks. So you've got to be pretty confident of where you're putting your crossbars. Now the other thing is that you want to make sure of is that you keep these relatively level with the top of your box. Now if you're relatively happy, and I am, not, they're not absolutely perfect, but I'm happy enough to squish that down. Now that's how your um, card in a box lays flat. So that will now fit inside a standard C6 envelope when it's folded flat. So this is important guys, you have to remember when you're decorating that you don't put too much stuff out the edges of your card, otherwise um, it won't fit in an envelope. So um, basically then it opens up and those bits fold down for your card. It's hard to see in a video but you've seen pictures on my blog hopefully. Um, now the rest of the video is just about um, decorating this. So I'm not going to um, give you too many measures. The only measures I am going to give you are the panel um, measurements here. So basically for the back panel you need, um, you can just put one piece on but I like to mat everything that I do. So on the back panel I've just got a 5 and 7 eighths by 2 inch piece of coloured cardstock and then on top of that I've got a 5 and 3 quarters by 1 and 7 eighths um, piece for a writing panel. So
So that's the back panel where you write your message. You can put happy birthday and whatever you want there. I'm not sure what I'm using this card for yet, so I'm leaving it blank. And then if I do want to, I can always lay it flat and give it a stamp if I want to. Okay, so that's the back panel. The other panel measurements I'm going to give you are the ones to decorate these bottom three panels. So for those ones, you can again just use plain designer series paper or you can mat them out on cardstock. I like to mat mine out. So I've got cardstock. I've got three of these panels that measure two by three and an eighth. And then the corresponding DSP that sits on top of that is one and seven eighths by three inches. So I've got three of those. So I'll put those together and onto the box. Okay, so that's the bottom three panels done and then all you're going to do now guys is decorate these outside top panels and I'll give you the measurements for those. You need four of these this time. The cardstock piece that I've got measures two inches by two and five eighths and the DSP that sits on top of that is one and seven eighths by two and a half and you need four of each. Okay, that's the main decoration um, and main dimensions I think that you need. There are details on my blog about the decorations um, for this one using the backyard basic um, uh, stamp set and the matching framelits. You can decorate them any way you like. Um, I just like this size because, it, like I said, it fits in my um, C6 envelopes and it folds uh, nice and flat and I can post that away. So I will keep the video going in double speed and show you how this one actually came, came comes together. Uh, but I'm not going to give you any more details. If you want any, want to know any of the specifics, um, drop me a message and I'll see if I can answer it. Hey, if you want to play, make it about a place. It'll take creation, imagination. Try to draw outside the line. Let us see inside your mind You'll find inspiration All I'm saying is you can do it I wanna hear you say Let's do this and do it now I wanna hear you shout 